welcome to this short introductory video on the Gbox S3 system. The Gbox S3 is an entry level system for imaging fluorescence and visible applications. The stylish and modular designed Gbox S3 gel dock system includes a high resolution 5 megapixel camera as well as a motor driven zoom lens and a motor driven filter wheel as standard. The Gbox S3 also comes with a lens feedback option allowing you to optimise your image capture using your user protocols. In this tutorial we were looking at DNA auto capture. In Genesis you have two imaging choices manually or automatically. For this tutorial we will do an automatic capture. Select gels and then DNA agarose gel. The next step is dye selection. This will bring up the recently selected dyes. You can select to show the whole library that currently contains over 300 commercially available dyes. Once all the parameters have been set, place the gel on top of the transluminator and check that the gel is positioned correctly using the sample positioning page. Use the lens controls to open or close the iris to zoom in or to zoom out and to focus the image. Genesis will then calculate the exposure time needed and capture an image of the gel, making sure to never saturate the image. This is important for quantification purposes. You can save this capture as a protocol, which will appear on the home page and will save you time as it takes you directly to the sample positioning page. The histogram shows you the number of grayscale levels captured by the camera. Adjust the histogram to alter the brightness and contrast of the image. Captured images can also be saved as an SGD, a TIFF or a BMP file. Captured images can be edited and annotated using the edit screen. You can also export your images to QuickQuant and to Gene Tools for analysis. In this tutorial, we will be looking at visible protein gel capture. In Genesis, you have two imaging choices, manually or automatically. For this tutorial, we will do automatic capture. Select gels and select visible protein gel. The next step is dye selection. This will bring up recently selected dyes, or you can select to show the whole library that currently contains over 300 commercially available dyes. When imaging any visible light application, you need to use the visible light converter screen. This is a white screen which is placed directly on top of your transluminator. Once all the parameters have been set, Place your gel on top of the transluminator and check it is positioned correctly using the sample positioning page. Use the lens controls to open the iris or close the iris. Zoom in and zoom out and to focus the image. Genesis will then calculate the exposure time needed and capture an image of the gel, making sure to never saturate the image. It is important for quantification purposes. You can save this capture as a protocol which will appear on the home page and will save you time as it takes you directly to sample positioning page. The histogram shows the number of grayscales captured by the camera. Adjust the histogram to adjust the contrast and the brightness of the image. Captured images can also be saved as an SGD, a TIFF or a BMP file. Captured images can also be edited and annotated using the edit screen. You can also export your images to QuickQuant or Gene Tools for analysis. We hope you enjoyed this short video and for further information please visit our website www.syngene.com or follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn.